Now then, yeah. Bill, you're traditionist, aren't you? Bit of one. Always traditionist. Have a look at that. The old-fashioned swimming trunks. Yes. Yeah. Okay, worn by men and the ladies wear the old-fashioned swimsuit. Mm -hmm. That's just so passe. Is it? Is? Yeah. Uh, one of the leading swimming trunks uh, companies are working with NASA. NASA. Have a look at this because uh, they've been doing anti-drag tests. They spent hours upon hours trying to find the latest swimsuit for everyone to wear. Now, apparently, they've come up with an invention. 10% less drag. How have they done that? Well, their bodysuit has been ultrasonically welded. Basically, it's super tight. It's Ooh. so tight yep. that it keeps you in shape and keeps you in the right body shape. Does it? How tight? I like the look of that. OK. This is the women's version, and that is a large. No. no. <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> you're, jo you're joking now, me. Now, when I say this is a large, a man <laughs> of about six foot four, six foot five... Oh, it's a zip. ...squeezes himself mm. into that. Look at, look at that. You, can, you see, it's a little zip up the back. And then yeah, performs... Okay. Well... You sort of get sealed into it, though, don't you? I know. Do you remember that swimsuit I had to put on to do a Aww. bit of swimming that, obviously, people kept giggling about? Um, they, they do work, but my goodness, when someone said, are you going to be trying it on, when I contacted the <clears throat> company, and they said, I said, no, no, I might do. And he said, well, if you do, you need some help getting into it. Right. Oh, that's Chris, how... Chris, I Chris. tell you what, there'll be a long but, queue out yes, there. Before the end of the morning, you yes. and that yeah. as one. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, well no, you? come on. Maybe, maybe. maybe. No, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Do you know it what? depends. It, see how many emails we get. Man or mouse, Chris? That is a challenge for, for, for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, we'll sponsor you to do it for sport okay. relief. Yes. That's really unfair. You haven't it? got a million pounds, have you? <laughs> all right, then. See, see you in it's, that later. It's really crunchy as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's going to feel all kind of... Oh, <laughs> rather you than me. Thanks, Chris. 23 minutes to seven. Now, now the moment we've been talking about. Mm. Traditionalists out there. <clears throat> have a look at that. We all remember when swimmers, the male versions anyway, used to wear the rather skimpy swimming costume and the ladies used to have the swimming, full swimming costume. That's all changed now. That's all old Passé. hat. Mm. Exactly. Have a look at this because uh, a well-known uh, uh, swimwear company, Speedo, linked up with NASA to perf you know, come up with the very latest mm. swimming cosy. Apparently 10% less drag. Why? Well, the bodysuit has been ultrasonically welded. It's super tight and it's engineered core stabiliser, whatever that is, maintains the body position. Right. I've summed that up by saying it is extremely tight. Let's have a look. Now, that is one of them. Yeah. That's the female version? That is the female... I think that's the female version. Yeah, I think that's... And that is a large. That's a right, large. that's a large. And that's, that's a large. <laughs> it's the male large. version. And that is for, you know, for six foot three boys to get into. Yeah. To dive in and squeeze Yeah, but you're, into you're quite small, six foot three, You should have no trouble getting into no, it. No, I know I you're trying to get me into it, but I'm uh, not that keen. I think you're I, no, getting into it. No, 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 come on, because... Um, you said what a challenge. You said, you said if enough people wrote in... And they have. ...you would put it on. Yes, I did say that. Here's a sample from Mike, but Mike Catterall. He but did he's, say that. He's, like everybody else, is saying, you can't come on TV and promote that extremely tight suit and not show us just how tight it is. You, I'm sorry, Chris. Well, when I contacted just... the company yesterday, they said, are you going to try it on? I said, don't be so ridiculous. And they said, well, if you are going to try it on, you might need some help to get it on and squeeze yourself well, into it. Well, there are some volunteers. I tell you, there'll be lots of people out there. I'm going to come contact on. the BBC canteen, see if they've got any uh, cooking oil for me to sque oh, squeeze into that's it. That's a horrible thought, isn't it? 8.30 sports. 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Come on. All right, I'll think about it. Right. Cooking oil, Chris Hollins, <laughs> and this. <laughs> you have to see that, don't you, really? Oh, not there before we go. 9 o'clock, sorry. I had there a career are. once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> it's almost uh, 20 later. to 8. It's already been described as a ridiculous idea. <laughs> you asked for it. He did it. Morning, Chris. Morning. You're looking very nice. Today. You look like Max Wall. I will. You'll see the <laughs> bottom bit in a minute. You owe me some money for sport relief, you two. <laughs> I can't believe you've got your shoes on, you've got your jacket and tie I know. on. It's tight. Right. You may, this sports bullet may be an octave off. quite higher this You're one. going to be taking off the jacket, aren't you? I will show you the full Monty in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but first, the rest of the sports news. We're talking swimming costumes, if you just thought we're going mad. Anyway, good morning to you. Do I seem a little bit out of breath there? I can't breathe in this mm -hmm, outfit. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you 
what they used to wear well, in the good old days. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know. Very good. Think yourself lucky. Yes, that's what they used to wear. You know those slim <clears throat> swimming cozies. Mm -hmm. uh, but Speedo, a big famous uh, name in obviously swimwear, have been got together with NASA and they produced this skin tight suit. Let's go to the other pictures where proper swimmers are. Just have a look at this. Uh, now look, as you can see, they've been doing lots of research. Apparently, this outfit that I'm wearing. Is, uh, has got 10% less drag, the bodysuit is ultrasonically welded seams and it's, en it's got an engineered core stabiliser which maintains a body position, ideal for swimming but not of course for presenting. Alright then, let's have a look. Off, off, off it comes. Off, off, off. off, off. <laughs> take your jacket, Sharon, take your jacket from him. Whoa! Chris! Come on, come I've on. Take I've got boxer right shorts off. on underneath take, because yes. my first effort of wearing it <laughs> oh, you look lovely. I can hear them laughing around. You look lovely. You look lovely. He really is spectacular. <laughs> um, oh, yes, you and you owe me money nice. for sport relief. And uh, I've got to say good morning to Mrs. Blunt, Andrea Blunt, who stayed in late yes. just to see me in this costume. Was it, I hope it was worth She's it. She's going to be late for work. Yes. yes. And your husband has lost the bet. Uh, Chris, not just today, I think every day. What, underneath my suit, please? This looks lovely. Really? Well, it does. does it feel? I mean, you can imagine. Sweet, you can imagine going down the local pool. Yeah, in I can imagine doing a few lengths. Well, I couldn't imagine doing that because it's all right if you're six foot three and got a body yeah. of a god, but a short, fat you boy have like me. You've got a body um, of a god. But this, by the way, is a large right. for six foot three guys. I would have to get in one smaller than this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well done, Chris. Chris Holland, Adonis, back. Adonis. Adonis. <laughs> See you tomorrow if I've still got a career. <laughs> Ooh. That was worth waiting for, wasn't 20 it? 20 to 9. <laughs> Calm yourself. <laughs> He's the youngest Briton ever to walk solo to the North Pole. Now.